Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, there were like no Super Auto Pets videos last week, or, or there were fewer. I apologize. I had food poisoning and um, I like couldn't sit down in my computer chair. Not because it hurt, but because it has a mesh bottom. Anyway, moving on. I wasn't trying to turn into like the human colander or anything like that, okay? The, we're on a new weekly. I'm back. This weekly has been a lot of fun uh, so far. The, I would say, dude, come on. Saucy Stinker is just an unbelievable name. The The theme of this weekly, I don't know. I, I hate to say it because it's kind of just like, um, it's circular reasoning. But the theme of it is like, it's just fun. Like, there's no theme, I think, in the early shop, except maybe there's a little bit of sellability, maybe. I guess I'll uh, give you that cookie and stick it up your yeah, if you don't mind. Um... But there's lots of fun animals that show up later. You know, we can get the walrus later. And yes, I would describe the walrus as fun. Thank you very much. Holy cow. We, not the right place to have our iguana, but we still would have lost it. It's the right place in order to get the pill bug buff, I guess. Um, dog and puppy do still exist and are definitely still valuable, but there's like, you know, white tiger, so you can easily scale things to level three. There's a lot of sniping type teams uh, that you can see in this build. It's just in contrast to the little I played of last week. Sure. Okay, fine. Sure. It just seems like there's a little more like going on this week. I'm going to take you perhaps against my better judgment. I'm going to take you. I'm going to take a jellyfish just because you do have some form of like scaling potential in the future, I guess. But I definitely think it's a daily that, unless you get like a dog early, you, you don't necessarily have to, you know, pick what horse you're going to be racing with uh, immediately. You got a little time to make it work. You got a little time to get something out of it. Uh, none of this appeals to me that much. For now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest in a jellyfish getting stronger. I know it's kind of crazy. I'm going to invest in this, even though it's kind of a, a little bit early, you might say. Um, because it gives us the jellyfish buff, which also allows us to then move the jellyfish to here. Maybe, and you know what, let's move the duck back. I think I'd rather the sheep get more HP, but then there's a part of me that says, you know, what if you just... Selling your best unit, always spicy, for sure. However, now a 1-5. That's going to get two buffs here. I, I mean, I think it's worth a lot. The only thing I would say is I'd love my jellyfish to get some HP. But maybe this is a maybe this is a juice is worth the squeeze situation. We do also have another level coming on the iguana, which is going to help our jellyfish out. I don't know. I mean, remember the right decision. Ooh, the right decision at the end of the day is whatever leads to a win. Like for example, their squad was very impressive, and uh, it very impressively lost to my squad, where we probably made some mistakes. So you don't have to focus 100% on the synergies and stuff like that. You could just try to make sure you're doing uh, the, the best you conceivably can here. So for now, like the, it's the stats that matter in the battle, at least at this stage of the game. That's my, my two cents. That's my takeaway, I suppose. Okay, you, you ratted me. How dare you? You've sniped my melon. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This matters. That's a very strong aardvark. Yeah, okay, you got me. Fair enough. We need to figure out where we go from here. And I definitely think the pill bug probably has to go. Which means you could set your squad up like that in, instead. I do think we put you out here as a just-in-case. We could add a bat. Could add a bat. I was hoping they would just give me one more bat. And then I could be like, you know what, we're going to add a bat. But for now, I actually think we're just going to take the cupcake. I was hoping to see, like, an ox as well for the, the easy level, because, I mean, you're, you're seeing it uh, laid bare here. Unfortunately, our ox is not good enough and our jellyfish is not good enough right now. We need a little bit more. We're getting our butt kicked by these freaking... Uh... We still got our butt kicked, but the aardvarks are, are hard countering our spawn build, which really hurts because we don't even really have, like, a good spawn build. We're pretty much just the guy. I don't necessarily think this can work, but I do think we're running out of real estate. So let's combine these iguanas, buy a seal, feed it a pair, and just start enjoying, like, the distributions here. <laughs> I think uh, a 12-9 jellyfish, and then maybe, like, a half-decent ox on the back end. I don't think it's going to get us there long-term, but I, I've been wrong 
I've been wrong before. We're gonna win this one at least. Mm, we're still gonna win this one. Don't get it twisted. But we need to come up with some kind of identity pretty quick. This team does not draw. Okay, the iguanas have been useless for us, but they may level up at some point still. Good. There we, I think you take the chance. It didn't hit the way I wanted it to hit, but that's okay. This is not good. This is not a good team. If you're going to have a, uh, we, we might get soloed by this one individual right here. If you're going to have a team that like the units are not that impressive, you actually have to, uh, well, I mean, we were only off by like one unit at the end, one unit that did anything. Um, but you need to have some units that do something if their stats are not good, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let me get a 2-1. Let me get let me get a 2-3 and a 2-2. Let me throw up in my mouth a little bit. This team is horrible. We'll be, uh, how about a flopping doggy? That's something dogs do when they trust you, right? Sounds right to me. I am stunned we're going to win round one here. Don't worry too much about the, the first match loss. You know, we, we, it's a long road ahead of us. Okay, a level incoming, huh? How about three of these? You, you give it a shot, I guess. Paul, the three of these. That's a reference to Dune. There's no punchline. It's just a, a reference cast into the ether for essentially no purpose. Somehow we're 2-0, and, and we're 2-0 and o with a level coming up. God, a dog or a puppy would set us off on the, the right track. Please. Please? Blowfish. I mean, it has stats. You gotta respect the stats. I guess I can take a dromedary. And we're just hoping the dromedary ooh, can do some scaling for us, sure. So it's, we're gonna create, oh yeah, and a dromedary into a leveled up fish. Has a certain je ne sais quoi. A quality the French called a certain I don't know what. Well, that was not so useful. But you know what? We're still winning somehow. We're on a perfect line, which is crazy because I, I, I haven't seen Mark Rutsu's run yet, but uh, maybe he's on the same right now. I'm going to go full sicko mode. We're going to run two dromedaries. I do think a turtle can be good, but I think the timing is bad. So we're, we're shooting for something a little bit more spectacular here. You can get out like a cool bird next time. Hopefully... This seems fantastic, actually. Hopefully we maybe have like a level up coming our way would be nice, but... What is this team? How, how did this come to pass like this? This just, it, it just doesn't seem right. How'd you end up with so... I mean, it's probably a pivot. They, they bought one, two crickets. Okay. Like I said, cool bird. I mean, honestly... We can probably pivot off of almost anything that's not a dromedary here. I would say you buy a bird, or sorry, a, a fish, just because it's a... I just like its stat distribution right now. And then is there anything we want for the future? Maybe we look at a, a cucumber and we say, you know what? Like, this dromedary is sticking around for now. I really don't think we're making, like, a super blowfish. I think you pass on it. And then we wait for the, the O Natural level up. I don't know. I mean, we're, we're at four wins in five rounds. That one was kind of a bit of a wet fart, though. We didn't really accomplish too much on it. But alas, we're still here. And we're still winning. Stats are always good. And, and we've got the built-in, like, pivot potential. 3-4 bat is kind of nice. I, I would sell the Blowfish at this point. Get that 3-4 bat out there. Nobody really needs garlic. I, nobody really needs a croissant. Salad seems a little underwhelming right now. Am, am I wrong? I don't think we need the bird to go up a level higher. And none of this is impressive to me in the slightest. So again, we basically we bought a bat. That's what we bought. We, like the movie, we bought a zoo. But instead of a zoo, we bought a single bat, which does not a zoo make. That being said, whether by luck or some other mercurial force, we find ourselves coming out with yet another victory. And just waiting for those, like, transformative units to show up. And I don't, like, the ox, the stats are good, don't get me wrong, but we, we can do better. So I think both the bird and the fish are close to leaving. We'll start with the bird. Eel is interesting. I mean, it gets, we maybe get a kickstart on the eel. And then 
This is going to strike a lot of people as insanity, but I, I've seen what a hawk can do in this pack, and I support it, and I think we're going to need gold for the future. I don't really care about the double uh, camel, honestly. I think we got to do better. We need something that, like a hippo scales. Hmm, that's unfortunate. That's what, We got problems on this one. A hippo scales. Um, an eel literally scales. Like, we, we need something along those lines. Something that allows us to maintain some momentum into the late game. We, we finally had our first loss. And honestly, I think I speak for everybody when I say it's about time. Combine my bats. Take a cucumber. I can't afford to leave you in the tank too long. And right now, I mean, I'll admit you're only gaining 50%. I think most units in the pack that are good tend to be at the back right now. Like, that's where people put their aardvarks, that's where people put their sharks, so... It's where people put their horses, we get a... Well, we got basically nothing of value out of that. Okay, so this is what I was worried about. <laughs> it's all falling apart now as a result of, uh... Well, us having essentially no identity is a big part of it, for sure. Um, let's finally combine the dromedaries, I guess. We'll run two hawks. We'll... Level a hawk, get a tiger. The friend behind repeats their bat their effect as if it was level one. There's lots to like here. Like you getting 50% then 50% is kind of neat. It would take you up to a 915. But you doing 14 and then 7 damage is probably better. The two the weakness from the bat is also good. But honestly, I think we're we're on borrowed time here. Like I just don't think we got what it takes right now. I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe the snipes get us there. This is not that bad. I think they're trying to build out like a rhino team, but uh, I don't think it's going to do it for him. I still think our eel can get there. It's just it's not scaling as fast as most things that we're going to go up against starting soon. I guess we just keep feeding it a little bit. Every time you're buying it, you're getting like a 50% discount. <laughs> on uh, on the HP portion, at least. And then I don't really expect a lemon to keep my hawk alive, but we only had three gold available. So I think, you know, given the circumstances, we'll take those. This is, team is a nightmare for me. How is your team so good? Hold on. Hold on. It's not going to get us there, but I, I really, I had visions of the lemon getting us there. Okay. An eel? How are we going to do this? How are we going to get over seven? Just the fact that we're at seven is kind of amazing to me. I think Vulture's great in the pack, but I, I don't think it's great in the pack on this one necessarily. Now, level two bad is great value, and I think we're pretty much just in like prayer ter territory. I would say praying is probably what we're looking for next. I think we're gonna lose this one easily. I think we will, that, that uh, jellyfish is gonna run over us. There's nothing we can do to stop it. We're not even gonna get close. So in a way, I honestly think we were kind of cursed by success in the early game there. And, well, truth be told, a second cricket would be better. And a second cricket, uh, there it be. So, sure. And let's be, um, let's be a dizzy tugboat. Who's a dizzy tugboat? Anyway, we, um, I think we should count ourselves... Lucky that we got as many wins as we did early on that last one because it had no late game support at all. This one, on the other hand, certainly it, it, it occupies a unique space. It does. And why don't you... I mean, this is a weird one, but just work with me. You got to be very careful with a cricket with honey on it because the positioning is all messed up. We're going to smoke this team. Holy cow. <laughs> <We're> gonna... <laughs> it is going to be ugly. We are going to go off. Okay. So we have a spawning team. A spawning team can be nice. We could pivot to a vulture later. We may not have to. Maybe we pivot to a turkey later or something. But for now, start me here, I suppose. That also seems very helpful on a spawning team, honestly. We just need to make sure we place you. Like, yeah, that seems acceptable. And then roll me once again. It's another horse, bro. It's another horse. What do you want me to do? It's another horse. Okay. Uh, and another cricket, obviously. So it's just horses and crickets as far as the eye can see. Oh, yeah. And this bear up at the front. They got their own bear. Okay. We got a very unique looking uh, setup here. 
I don't know how to feel about this. I actually think we're about to get our butt kicked. Or maybe we're about to get our... No, we're about to get our butt kicked. No, we're about to draw. Okay. That's fine. Very similar looking team. Another cricket. Okay, how interesting. How about one of these? How about one of these? Just make sure you got it set up properly. That's the first time... And I, this is with, without a, a bit of negativity in my heart. That was the first time we didn't get like exactly what we needed from a reroll. Every other time we've been so spoiled, we've gotten like the thing that synergized with the run perfectly. Hey, stop that. I think I speak for everybody when I say knock that off, please. Holy cow, we draw. That one iguana, it, it got like six kills. It's, it's the Red Baron. Okay, now you can use your brain. Because I think like an ox goes fine here. You need something that has some tank ability. Now the bear no longer necessarily needs to exist. But he does exist. Four-cost salad? What do you think about that? A four-cost salad. You can get a little bit more than one salad's worth of benefit out of it. Because you can get one extra attack out of it, thusly. And it's not a salad because it's not random. That's very true. A lot of people run an aardvark, so let's put our own aardvark out there. And then we got a cricket up at the front with the honey on it for no reason. So that's why I'm saying you got to beware the cricket honey, man. It's all it, my exact reasoning. It has come home to roost. We draw again. I'm not sure this team is that good. So we, I'm really hesitant to endorse the amount of draws we've got here. Remember, you got to rework this positioning. Okay, this is huge. That doesn't really matter, but a parrot. A parrot, huh? A parrot. I think we could talk about an, an aardvark being level two. I know that the order is still screwed up, but there's not a whole lot we can do about it. I've seen what an aardvark can do on this run. I don't think we got it doing what it needs to do yet. Like we got to get off of this cricket squad we got going on here. I'm not that worried about losing the honey, but it's it's not the way it should be set up. That's for sure. Don't. Oh, you would not believe me, by the way, but I promise you, we will encounter spawning teams. I'm not the only spawning team on the weekly. There's dozens of us. I roll. You know what? I trust you. Why don't you go up to the front now? Why don't you take one of these? I believe in what you got going on here. Now, I don't necessarily believe in a level 3 cricket, but here's the thing. A level 3 cricket will allow us to get a tier 6 unit on the cell, which to me seems very, very advantageous. Or on, on the level, I should say, not on the cell. Holy cow, we won a round, and dare I point out it wasn't even against a spawning team. The truth is out there, and it only gave me a tier 5. I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. This is not really a spawning team. I'm realizing now. So the shark doesn't need to be here. But I also think it's not that bad. I know I just went back on what I was just saying, but... I mean, we're floundering. We're, we're, we're searching, you know, with our hands uh, on a, in a dark prison cell trying to find the bars hoping we could tear them open with just pure muscle power right like we we really have nothing positive going for us right now so we're trying anything speculative in the hopes that it could do it and obviously like it hasn't gotten us there yet but we have managed to claw our way to three wins there is a part of me that says like now we're getting tier fives, tier sixes come soon. Maybe we have the potentiality of getting like some vultures later. Like I, the, the aardvark has done nothing for us, but he does have a grape. I spent three gold to get one gold once. Based, okay, how about that? And then you know what? We got two of you immediately. I'm gonna take that as a sign that I did the right thing. I don't think this is necessary at all right now. We'll talk about you if we get another one or some chocolate soon, maybe. Um, it probably would have been better to try to get this buffalo fed as soon as possible. But I, I think there's something about, like, 
The long... What is this three dogs? Holy cow. <laughs> That's... I'm, I'm so offended. How come your mom lets you have three dogs? I feel like a hope for us comes in the form of a vulture. Of a carrion bird. Still have six HP. Holy cow. A vulture can, can pull us out of this. The buffalo's not gonna do it on its own. The lemon is really good, I will admit that, but... Ooh, I'd just like to live for one more round, please. If you could, if you could, they, they can't, they can't, they can't, they can't, my shark is dead, they can't. Are we gonna... So much melon armor, man, holy cow. I don't know, there, oh, I was gonna say there might be a chance here. I'd like to, um, I'd like to reiterate that. There's a chance we could drop. Please, vulture me. It's the perfect, it's the perfect time for a vulture to exist. One more of those. One more of those, because I don't know if a vulture's ever gonna show up. Roll me? No vulture, okay. Um, that's bad. I don't think a turkey's the way to go. We're way past, like, spawner build setups. I think you, you pray you face a bad team and then um, get a vulture next time. I'm a little tunnel vision, some might suggest. A little tunnel vision on this whole vulture thing. Mm, this rhino setup is not good. That is, I describe that as not good for me. Very solid. Very well well orchestrated tiger as well. Like the snake, we don't have anything tanky enough for the snake to really pop. I think I think we're in like almost full cell territory, even though it screws our bison. Like I think we need a crocodile to hopefully snipe the backline unit. Maybe you could sell. I know how this looks, but now we create a super stegosaurus or a, a super buffalo. And the whole reason there is like we can afford to lose a couple of scalings on it with the stegosaurus out there buffing it maybe having one good unit could be enough for us my whole squad is dead their whole squad is not dead i'd like to make that as clear as possible my popcorn has been overridden i got punked man i can't go out like this i mean we you're not gonna believe this on stream today we played really well okay let's do the same here this is good enough. This is good enough. And actually, I think a duck is good enough. It's the three HP that matters. We'll be a, we'll be an upset burglar. Hey, where's all your good stuff? Why is your house all full of crap? It must happen, right? Like there must, there must be days where like anybody, the burglar goes to the office and he's like, honey, you won't believe all the crap I looted today. There wasn't a single diamond or big flat screen TV in the whole kitten caboodle. It's gotta happen. Trust me, source dude, just trust me. We win these. Okay, I've got confidence again. Littlest Pet Shop, great name. I love the horse with the cowboy hat too. Level me. This is definitely good enough. We could pop you up there, you up there. Or we could even pop the ducks up here and then move you back one, and I'm okay with that. I think we'll definitely just keep you moving. I mean, the duck hitting the next level would be really nice. And honestly, give me a bat. I feel, I feel like the bat does good work for us. For round three, this team is pretty good. We got one strong unit. The ox has good melon armor, tends to trade very well. This is a tough one. I mean, they, they got a strong team as well. We lose these. and But I, I embrace that. I honestly think their team was just really well made. One gold for one attack just doesn't seem... Well, I guess it's one gold for one attack and the melon to protect you from getting sniped, which is not worth that much. But we then get the one gold back. Little sus. How about the dromedary again? Not interested. Very interested. And I think it's time to say goodbye to the horse experiment. This run, the, the truism with horse, I think most of the time, 
The earlier you pivot off of it, the happier you're going to be. I get, both of my bats hit the same thing. I'm willing to accept that sometimes that's the cost of doing business. But holy frick, man. Come on, wait, one in five chance. I mean, I accept that one in every five runs, but not on the first run. Come on. That's statistically ignorant. Okay, level two bat, though. That's very good. I don't think a porcupine does that much for us, but I do think a porcupine early with some garlic, not a lot of units right now are going to be hidden for eight damage. Now, they don't need to hit for eight damage when you apply um, weakness to the unit. So you got me a little upset there, but I'm happy I won regardless. There's three wins. This team can do something. You don't need to go two dromedaries. The, the ox is doing enough to secure its place on the team. Don't need garlic. You don't really need a salad. How about a level three duck? I know it's on the off round. I'm okay with that. We don't need a parrot. I wouldn't mind an ox getting leveled if possible. I wouldn't mind a bat getting leveled. We got to figure out what happens from here, but I'm not disappointed in this team too much. You're strong enough to actually kill... We're, we're seeing like a recurring theme here, and the recurring theme is that the units I buy never actually get to use the text on the unit. <laughs> like, deal six damage back to the pet that hurt Porcupine. I was like, there's not a lot of things that do eight damage right now. Okay, turns out by round seven, everybody's rocking an 11-6 camel. Congratulations, you figured it out. I don't know how, but you got there. I'm going to keep you in the back to tank, which is a sign that this video is probably close to being over. But I hope I'm wrong, because we got a really great shop here. Our stats are really bad. The override was, was nice, although it doesn't help on the ox at all. Holy cow, I don't believe it. That we, it may not have made any meaningful difference whatsoever, and we are about to lose. But at least we got to see the porcupine effect work. Okay, well, that was horrible. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. But I am just happy to be alive after my bout with food poisoning. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you.